The new age of farming has taken a pretty good turn with the new generation taking up the responsibility of their legacy. Things have become more advanced. Today we're going to take a look at a young lady who takes pride in her work and invites us to her humble lifestyle. This episode is dedicated to Laura Farms. But before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and slap that notification bell and let's begin with the video. Gone are the days when there were hardworking old men with hats and boots plowing the field and drifting on their bullock carts. Laura's tractor, which looks like the cockpit of an airplane, is a major upgrade. In the contrast to our stereotypical image, these new age farmers have changed the face of farming forever, and things are getting even better. Born on the 11th of May 2001, a Torayan lady is known to be a very loving and passionate and stubborn. All of this is visible in her with her love for her farm her passion for her job, and the stubbornness to hold on no matter how hard it gets. These are the reasons she's so successful as a young farmer, and besides that, she has also successfully become a social media influencer, an entertainer, and a content creator, and is now hosting a massive online community of hardworking farmers and agriculturists. Not long ago, farming was strictly a career option for only men, and she has broken the stereotype. She takes care of the land, and the land provides her food. She comes from a small village known as Marquette Village, located in the Hamilton County of Nebraska, and I'm sure that you'll not disagree if I say she takes it all from her father. Her father is a very decorated individual, and he too is a host and the creator of her channel, of the channel Lead Farms. Laura and her family are actually from Sweden and they settled in America back in the 1990s and since they began their life as farmers. They built their legacy from the ground up and now they own a massive 2,000 acre land and that is a great lead coming from John Deere tractors and from being a planter. They're the perfect example of the American dream. Her grandfather used to be in Vietnam as a CB, and he also launched a hog operation back in the 1890s. Laura was born for this lifestyle as she was only 13 when she had her first cow herd. She was free to choose, and so she juggled a lot of career options, she became a nanny, worked in a school, tried as an athletic trainer, and she also had the military in mind. As much as I would love to see her in that military uniform, she knows that she was born for, and so she became a farmer. Laura Farms joined YouTube on the 24th of April 2020, with her first upload made about two years ago. With more than 69 million views, she managed to gain 355,000 subscribers, and has uploaded 313 videos during this period. She's a fifth generation farmer and she is working for her family to boost up the agribusiness with a fresh set of harvests like commercial white corn, yellow corn, soybean, and plant cover products like cereal rye and turnips. But that does not stop there. She also has a wide variety of cattle and pigs with pigs and cows and she had began a full-time farming career when she first rented a 160-acre land for herself someplace in central Nebraska. She is a very popular on YouTube and with an average view count of 128,000 views a day, she can earn anywhere from four to $500 a day which could easily go up to about 15K a month. She has an estimated net worth of about $400,000 which is only from her ad revenue from her channel and I'm sure that it does get better than that but this is what we have from her YouTube channel statistics. She also gets ad sponsorships and she has her merch with a Patreon channel and that would elevate her net worth considerably. The fact that she started her YouTube channel with an iPhone 8 and a laptop makes her channel wholesome and shows us how far she's come in her journey as a social media farmer and well, we literally saw her grow on the farm. I'm sure that she still uses a phone to record or maybe, I don't know, the quality seems very good these days as compared to her previous videos. What do you think? She Does she use a phone or a camera to record her vlogs? Laura Farm and her family are doing a great job and I'm very thankful for everything that they're doing. We like to wish them success and congratulate them on how far they've come. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe for more, and don't forget the bell. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.